Hey everyone. So, I just got done, uh, as you can see in the mirror, we loaded up our, my D8 cat. She's following me right behind. Uh, it was already loaded up when I got there. So it's, I didn't get any footage of it uh, loading on. But I will get footage of it coming off. And it's always a hairy deal when you take those cats off, those low boys. So I'll, that's why the driver always does it. So yeah. Uh, it is minus five right now. We've got a little bit of snow. And uh, I'm bringing the cat home because we need it there to uh, push up some manure and that. And I'm going to put on the, the new sprocket segment on the sprocket because I have to run the track really tight so it doesn't slip. It's jumping the cogs. So we're, uh, I've got those brand new bolts, brand new segments. So I don't know if I'm gonna put them on yet because don't really have the time, but we will see. And uh, I'm just, I'm about three, three, four miles from home right now. It's only just a, it's not far to haul. So we're gonna go unload it there in the yard. Hey, he's gonna bring it around. This is why I don't unload cats. Well, that ripper works pretty good for that. Ready to go to work. So I've only driven this thing like for like 10 minutes. Uh, my neighbor, he's been driving, he did about 50 hours of work with it. So I can drive it, but I just wasn't very, I wasn't used to it, but it's not. I've been driving the six, which is right behind me. used to drive with six. This is not that much different. The only differences are the you pull a steering clutch you can uh, it brakes automatically so you don't have to step on the brake. Let's hop on and give her a try.
I parked them side by side just to see the size difference. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is try to smooth out all these frozen ruts because it was so muddy. Now it's now you can drive here, but it's so rough because well now you've got these big clumps of frozen mud. And Sean was here dragging it with a, with a leveling drag, but it's still really really rough. So it's gonna be hard to drive on this to. Uh, stack the bales here which we're gonna do right hey look at that two deer just giving her should be coming over there huh. anyway yeah there you can see the size difference between the eight and the six that big what are those d11s that they use in the big mines and, and in the gold mines those must be just huge because in the yukon where they mine for gold an eight is small they don't use eight so i'm just gonna i was i was smoothing some of this out with the six the other day but it, even though with the six on frozen ground it's kind of light it just hops and skips over top that stuff uh, there's one thing I have to do on the 8 yet is I gotta change the sprockets as you can see on the 6 they're still really good lots of life left in those ones yet well they're about I don't know 50% but as you see on the 8 change them out and uh, they'll work way better this way I won't have to have the track so tight but I'm gonna go ahead and level this out more well, I got my brother Lori operating it for the first time he's, he's back waiting I did a little bit of it right here. Just get all those big frozen lumps and drive over them and it smashes them right up. with it and then smash up the lumps as much as you can and then just run the drag around it should be smooth enough for the tractor for the truck It rough, eh? See how it just shaves it right off.
easy to run. I think I'm not used to it because I always want to step on the brake to turn. You don't have to with the K. The H's you still have to with K. heavier than, than the 6 because uh, you put the blade down on the 6 and it just jumps over top of those closed and runs. Definitely a lot better. good for the loader you don't want to be jumping too much with the bales on the loader it's hard on the loader once you get all this smooth like uh, all these lumps busted up that'll be pretty good then they'll fill in the holes like right here it's bad still portable panels now that we got the, the cows hauled home I had some video of uh, hauling the cows but my camera went the wrong way it turned like that I don't want to screw up this video but it turned the wrong way so this wasn't worth posting so uh, I'll try and get in some cattle video when uh, when it comes time to ship the calves so. six let it run while I'm gone and we'll go pick up those panels <laughs> 